Good day, I'm Nakshila Lamene with your midday news updates. Rob Peckham expected to be sentenced today. Six SAPS anti gang unit members have been shot. Smart ID card can prevent fraudulent marriages. The convicted wife killer Rob Peckham is expected to be sentenced today after he was found guilty last month of murdering his wife. He was also convicted on a charge of defeating or obstructing the administration of justice. Peckham was arrested shortly after Jill Peckham's body was found in the boot of a burnt-out BMW at the Deep River train station in February 2018. Judge Elise Stain is expected to hand down sentencing in the Western Cape High Court today. Six South African Police Service anti-gang unit members were shot this morning in Samara Michelle informant sentiment in Nyanga, Cape Town. Spokesperson Brigadier Novella Potola said the police were conducting an operation in the community when they came under attack after arresting one suspect allegedly linked to recent murders in the area. All members have been admitted to hospital. The full rollout of the smart identity cards should bring about an end to cases of fraudulent marriages. Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mozzoledi said the green barcoded IDs was vulnerable to security breaches leading to dis instances of identity duplication to the detriment of unsuspecting victims. Of the total 38 million people eligible for the smart ID, only 15 million South Africans have contracted their IDs so far, while the government's capacity is limited to 3 million applications a year. Tata Zimchali has more on your sports news updates. Good day, I'm Tata Zimchali with your sports news. Even though Cristiano Ronaldo has added another, another medal on his list of accolades, Lionel Messi sits above him on the list of top paid athletes. The list, which has been published annually since 1990, was created by the well-known American business magazine Forbes and takes into account endorsements, money and salaries garnered by athletes between the period of June 2018 and June 2019. For the first time ever, FC Barcelona superstar Lionel Messi occupies the top position at the summit of the world's 10 highest paid athletes ranking after replacing boxer Floyd Mayweather. Banyana Banyana coach Desiree Ellis will have a difficult job to do when she has to replace defender Notando Villagazi in their match against China tomorrow at the FIFA Women's World Cup. The defender got a red card during their opening against Spain. Striker Temi Khatlana scored the opening goal of the match, but Banyana ended up losing the match by three goals to one. Two of the three goals scored by Spain were penalties, one of which saw Villagazi getting a second booking. The player has been a key defender for the team. Her absence leaves the coach with a difficult decision to make and could see young Klongweni Sibulele getting a place in the starting 11. Sibulele was part of the under-20 squad, which played at the, at the World Cup last year. And ending with your PSL, Orlando Pirates man Marshall Munetzi has assigned for French League One side Ramis. He joins former Mamelodi Sundowns player Bongani Zungu and Keegan Dolly. The 22-year-old who can play in defense and, midf and midfield was a solid performer for the Paganias this past season. And his loss will be felt by coach Mitchell. The Zimbabwean international joined Pirates in July 2016 from former National First Division side FC Cape Town. And he was also loaned to Baroka FC. That's all from the Sports Desk. Goodbye. And now to your weather and traffic updates. Looking at your traffic updates, El Dorado Park on the Golden Highway, traffic lights are not working at Union Avenue, West Dean at Main Road, traffic lights are not working at Miller Street, and Pretoria on Sifago Makato, traffic lights are not working at Aldo Street. And now with your weather updates, Johannesburg is at 19 degrees Celsius, Soweto it is mostly sunny at 20 degrees Celsius, Rentbeck is at 19 degrees Celsius, and Senton is also at 19 degrees Celsius. And that is it with your weather and traffic updates, and now it's back to the news desk. That's it from me and the rest of the JPEG TV News team. Catch your next bulletin in the evening. Goodbye.